Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be replacing the motors on my SEMA X8C. I've got one that is uh, bad, but I'm going to replace all four. These two are fine on the front. This one is fine on the back left. This one, you can see, is grabbing. It is, uh, brushes are probably going out in it, and it's grabbing up in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to First, make sure you got the battery out. I'm going to take the props off to give me a little more working room. You don't have to take the props off, but just to keep them from being in the way, I'm going to go ahead and, and pull them off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. This step, you just remove your silver caps. They twist off, twist and pull up. Then on top of each propeller, you're going to have the little locking cap, so you'll turn it to the uh, unlock position. So it'll just be a counterclockwise movement on each shaft. I'll do each one and I'm going to come back around and pull the pins out. Alright, so i got each one moved now. I have my little screwdriver. Let's come over here and use it to pull the pin out see that or not but screwdriver is magnetic so I'm able to pull it out with just touching the pin and then once you do that you can lift the uh, white cap off and the propeller will slide right off and repeat that step for each propeller Sorry, I got off camera there for a moment. Well, I've got the four propellers off. I'm going to slide this stuff out of the way. Slide my propellers over. All right. The uh, next step you're going to take is flip the quadcopter upside down. And you're going to take the covers off of the bottom that cover up the motors. There's two screws holding each one. And I'll do a better job of pointing that out for you in just just a moment. There's a screw right here next to your light and then directly on the other end of the cap there will be a screw here. So you just take both of those screws loose and the cap will come right off. This is going to allow you access to the bottom side of the motor where the plug is. The power plug for each motor. Now obviously when you or replacing your motors you have to have two counterclockwise motors and two clockwise motors I'll show you in a moment that they're actually color coded with different color wires you'll see that this motor has a red and a black wire and this motor has a red and a blue wire so you'll replace the red and blue motor with another motor that has red and blue. Alright, I have the four caps off now. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unplug the, um, the power wires to each motor. You don't really have a whole lot to grab onto, so be careful with the wires. You may even want to take a little small screwdriver or something and and pry on the plastic as you pull just to help uh, not pull the wires out. Now obviously I'm not going to reuse these motors anyway but if you were doing some other tasks where you were actually putting the motors back in you don't want to break your wires loose. Once you get the right tools for the job it's relatively easy to unhook these. They pop right out just with a slight little catch. Alright, now I have the um, wires disconnected, the plugs undone. You flip it over. And now there'll be two screws on the top that secure the motors in the housing. Okay, You don't have to take this quadcopter all the way apart to replace the motors, which is, is great. 
all right your your two screws are going to be right here just over here on the angled part right here in this hole it's going to be right next to your rotation indicator that's uh, molded into the plastic so you're going to have this screw and then straight down in this very first hole there's going to be a screw see if you can see it down in there now sometimes it may be that you can't see through there what you're doing is that screw is actually through the gear through a hole in the gear so you may be turned in such a way I'm trying to get it to line up here so I can't see it uh, maybe turned in such a way like right there where you can't actually see the screw and what you'll have to do is just turn that to your to a hole see now the screw is clearly visible down in there and obviously you're gonna need a magnetic screwdriver or magnetize your screwdriver that's what I did to this one that came with the Phantom I'm, I'm sorry came with the SEMA X8C just unscrew it and you'll be able to pull that screw up through the hole sorry I got off camera there you'll be able to pull the screw up through the hole and you'll notice that these screws are different from most of the screws that you've dealt with uh, putting on your uh, prop guards and putting on your landing gear and stuff these are actually machine screws with fine threads not, not made to screw into plastic but they're actually made to screw into metal on the top of the motor the motor has two screw holes right here on either side of the gear and that's what you're screwing into so I'm gonna go ahead and get this second screw out right, there's the screw lay that right over there I'm gonna do these one motor at a time that way I don't mess up get the wrong motors in the wrong places so now I'll turn this up you'll see this is one with a red and black wire on it so I'm just gonna reach over here and grab this motor wiggle it just a little bit and it will come right out I'm gonna make sure that I put this motor back in the same way so the plug and everything works so this take we're taking this motor out and you're gonna put this new motor back in it had the positive the red wire was that way so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna wiggle this motor slide it back into place once I feel it the reason you're gonna wiggle it is you want the gears to line up you don't want to mess up your gears so I have put that motor back in place now that I have done that I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one up and there's a reason for that it's gonna keep me from getting confused and replacing the same motor twice so I have replaced that motor it's plugged in now all I gotta do is put the screws back in the top of it get my little screwdriver Make sure it's on the screwdriver. Line it up with the hole. Right back down in there. And tighten that up. Remember these are tiny screws. Don't over tighten them. Just make sure they're snug. So it'll hold your motor in place. Definitely don't want to strip one out of your new motor. There we go. That motor is done. I've got three more to do. Well, no wiggling on that motor, it just fell out. Alright, so that's one with a blue. Also keeping my motor separated so I don't put an old motor back in. I'm gonna put this motor in. Line it up here with this hole. You can see the hole where the, the little plastic housing where the motor sits in. And then up in there, you can see the gear. Now you want to inspect your gears. You obviously don't want to replace motors if your gears are messed up. These gears look fine. Put the motor back in. Now since this one's kind of loose, I'm going to hold my finger on the bottom of it as I turn it over. And see about getting the screw back in there. I'm going to start with the easy one. Since I'm having to hold it, there we go. Got that done. And before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. Now these plugs only plug in one way, so you can't hook them up backwards. Um, so just make sure you're putting the plug in right and hook it up. So I've got two done, two to go. Next one's going to be a red and black. I'm 
You want to be careful when you're pulling the screws up out of there with your magnetic screwdriver. I haven't lost one yet, but I assume that well, that one fell out too. I assume if it gets loose in there, you're probably going to have to take the quadcopter apart to uh, chase it down. So that's a red and black motor. I'm going to go over here and get my other red and black motor. I'm just going to reach under and put this one in since I still got the screwdriver in the hole. I felt it slide into place. Or not. There we go. Alright, got that one. Make sure I got that one tight. Okay. Plug up the power to that one. One to go. Alright, it's the last red and blue wire. It's the counterclockwise. Red and blue is the counterclockwise ones, and the um, red and black are the clockwise motors. I didn't mention that earlier, but I thought I would now. Alright, just went ahead and pulled that one out. The last red and blue wire one. I'll slide it in from the bottom. So don't force it. Wiggle it around if you have to to get the teeth to line up. You don't want to break your gears up in there. That's a whole another ball game to replace those. Alright, so I got the four motors replaced. Last power cord to plug in. There, that's plugged in. Alright, so now I have to put my uh, covers back on the motors on the bottom. And then we will um, put the propellers back on and test it out and see how it works. That one didn't want to line up just right. It's all right, I got it now. All right. Now we just got to put the props back on. And um, then we can test it. I'm sure you're familiar. Just make sure you put your, uh, your props back in the right locations. Your A props and your... A locations and your B props and your B locations. I used orange props on the front. It helps me uh, with orientation when I'm when I'm flying. I had some orange legs on the front too, but then I got the DJI Phantom uh, wide, tall legs. All right, just slide your little white caps back on. Grab your pins. Again, you can do this with the screwdriver because it's magnetic. Twist it clockwise to lock it into position. Almost done, two to go. Last one. Slide the pin in. Rotate clockwise. Then your little silver. Uh, now they're decorative and protective, I guess. Just twist those and push them down. And there we go. New motors all around. Propellers back on. Motor covers on. I'm going to grab a battery and my controller. And we'll run these motors for a couple of minutes to wear in those brushes. It's recommended you run them at low speed for a couple of minutes before you take it out and start to hammer the throttle on it.
All right, got the battery and the controller. Slide that up in there. Close it. Turn it on. Turn on the controller. Bind the controller. All right, be careful running this in the house. Watch out for those props. I'm gonna let this run about two minutes and then I'm gonna take it outside and test flight. I appreciate you watching my video today on how to replace the motors on the SEMA X8C without taking the housing apart. It's relatively simple. And again, I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.